Welcome back to the 2022 Heart Baseball Media Day. I'm your host, Stephen Davis. Next up, we're joined by the head coach at Culver Stockton College, Brad Gorkos. Coach, how are you today? I'm great. How are you, Stephen? We're doing well. How excited are you and your staff to get this 2022 season started, weather not withholding right now? <laughs> uh, we can't wait. You know, and this year we're starting a little later than we do we have in the past. And, you know, we're a couple weeks away still, but, but we're very excited. Let's talk about you a little bit before we get into your team. Uh, you played at Culver Stockton. You now coach there. How cool is it that you get to uh, to be the head coach at your alma mater? It's surreal at times. You know, I you know I always thought I wanted to be back here at some point. I didn't. I, I just didn't know it would be this early. Um, so it, it's it's exciting. It makes me want to work harder. It, it, you know, because there's a lot of people that that are friends of mine that are alumni now that expect us to do a really good job. So, so it's been, it's been, it's been surreal. It's been fun. It's been exciting. Every, everything that I could say about it is, is positive. Well, as long as those guys support you and what you're doing, right. uh, if they're expecting big results from you. Let's talk about your schedule a bit. Uh, you guys head to Tennessee, Mississippi, Arkansas. You're heading South for your first 11 games. What do you hope to see from your squad uh, as you get things started and hopefully some warmer weather? I just hope, you know, to see us play good baseball. You know, I always tell our guys, our expectation is obviously win baseball games, but it's also to play good baseball, especially early before we, we get into the heart of America and, and, you know, we play Benedictine that first weekend. So we need to make sure that, that we're prepared to go. And so I just want to see us play clean baseball. And, and what the result is the result, you know, and we go down and play free hardman that first weekend, which is going to be a tough one for us. And, and I just want to see how we match up and, and see if we can just hold our own. And, and I think we will. Um, that's all I'm, that's all I'm looking for is to play clean baseball and, and, and hopefully the results take care of themselves. All right, let's break down your team a bit. Let, let's talk about some of the names of guys you're wanting to play that good baseball. We'll start yeah. on the mound with the pitching staff. Who are some uh, some returners to your team that uh, you're counting on for, for innings? Well, the, the good thing about our program right now is we returned everybody on the mound that pitched for us last year. Wow. Um, so we'll Dan Daniel Hargrave will be our number one Friday night guy. He'll start game one for us. Uh, Stephen Stockwell is a left-handed arm that will will start. And last year we used him out of the bullpen and we used him on him as a starter. But this year he'll just start for us. Um, Dax Flurry is a kid that'll start and, and he he's a junior. Um, we got a new kid here at the break, Andrew Fay, who will who will compete for us on the mound as well. And he's he's going to be a good arm for us. Um, and then our bullpen and, and like I said, we returned every single one of them um, and added some JUCO guys to the mix and a couple of freshmen that are going to help us. Um, so I expect us to be deeper than we were last year um, just because of more experience and just because we have a little bit more talent there on the back end. Yeah. How about some of those new guys? Uh, when you have everybody coming back, sometimes it's tough for new guys to work in, but it sounds like you have some talent there. Yeah. It, especially with the Andrew Fay who came here about a month ago, he uh, he's found his way in perfectly. And I think our guys understand that if someone helps us, Play better baseball that he helps us play better baseball and, and that's one good thing about our program is we're very unselfish right now and we think that whoever's going to help us helps us it's next man up kind of thing and um those those guys have fit in in pretty well all right let's talk offense who are some of the bats you're counting on this year to to be productive for you yeah so we uh we return a couple couple guys as well we have a left fielder ronald applewhite um who's going to hit in the middle of our our lineup and we expect him to be a a 10 double 15 double kind of guy and, and steal 20 bases and, and, and play every day in left field. Alex Harbin uh, is a center fielder who who's was hurt the majority of last year, but played for us late in the conference tournament and, and, and helped us. And he'll be an everyday guy. And he's got some thump. Um, Douglas Barker is a third baseman. He's a fifth year kid. Got that COVID year of eligibility. So he'll, uh, he'll play third base and, and he's going to do a lot of different things for us as well. Um, Behind the plate, we, we have Colin Hall, and we got, we're got we deep behind the plate. We have four catchers that I think play. Um, so but Colin Hall will get the nod first, and, and he knows that, and, he, and he's been really good, and he could swing it. Uh, but he's young. I mean, he was behind Casey Downs all year. Um, and then we have a freshman that's going to play second base for us, and we're going to see what happens. And, you know, I think he's going to be talented enough to, to compete in the heart. You know, I think being a freshman in heart of America is sometimes a tough thing to do, but I think he's got the ability to do it. So – we're going to score in different ways than we did last year. We're not going to run the ball to the yard as much as we did. We're going to have to play different style of baseball, but I think we got the guys that can do it. You mentioned some of those guys will be everyday guys for the other spots. Do you really yeah. use the early season games to kind of mix and match it and see what you've got, see if some guys want to step up, whether it be in a bullpen role yeah. or for some position player spots? Oh, absolutely. You know, there, there are some jobs that are still, still need to be won. You know, and like I mentioned, we have four catchers 
you know, we got, we got that, that number two job and even the one job for, for some games that are up for grabs. Right. So, and that's where those, those February games for us come into to, to play. You know, like I said, I want to play well, so I'm going to put the guys on the field that I think are going to win us games. Um, but yeah, their jobs still need to be won. Some, some guys still need to step up and, and swing the bat at a high level. And, and first base, for example, you know, Dax Flurry is our, our first baseman, but he also pitches game three, right? So we need somebody to, to play that position. You know, Andrew Fay is a, an infielder who's going to play, but he also pitches game four. So we need, we need guys to, to step up and, and step up in the roles. And I think that's where the first month of, of our baseball season comes into play. Good stuff, coach. All right, we're going to wrap things up. Final four questions for you. We'll go four quick ones. Give me the first answer that pops into your head and kind of explain uh, explain it a little bit, all right? You got it. Right. Favorite major league team, uh, maybe both now and growing up, if it's changed for you. I'm a Cubs fan. Um, so I'm originally from Rockford, Illinois, born and raised. Um, Cubs fan. Um, when I, you got home, WGN was on every single day, so I watched the Cubs every single day. Um, how cool was, how cool was uh, 2016 for you then? Well, it was awesome, but I was in West Virginia at the time, and everybody hated the Cubs, so I was the only one that was having a good time. <laughs> well, at least you got to celebrate. All right, so That's Cubs right. fan, favorite major league player of all time. Is it a Cub then? Uh, favorite major league player of all time. Um, I would probably uh, – it's an unpopular opinion, but Sammy Sosa when I was a child was 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 the the what got me into baseball, so I would probably say Sammy Sosa. And, you know, you could say whatever you want about him, but we watched baseball because of him for a little bit. So for me, I would say him as a child. And then as I got older and, and got into it a little bit, I think, you know, I have an array of different players that I enjoy to watch. And, and you know, as you get into coaching baseball, you're, you're less of a fan than you were in the past. So I, I just like watching good players like Mike Trout and Bryce Harper and Otani is a freak and all these other people. Yeah, yeah, three freaks you just mentioned That's right freaks. there. Yeah, I know. Absolutely. All Thanks right, we mentioned you <laughs> <laughs> mentioned you played at Culver Stockton. What's your favorite memory from your time as a player? What sticks out for you that, uh, hey, you could share with us? And remember, your players are going to be listening to this too. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think, um, number one, the bus rides are the, are the things that you remember. You know, I I don't really remember going over for 4 on Tuesday every all the time, you know, but I remember the bus rides and being with our – my, my buddies but but the one moment I will remember and it, it it was a positive moment it was a really negative moment we we made a regional in, in 2014 and we went to Kingsport and we played in a regional with Missouri Baptist and Cumberland and all these guys and we won the first game and how cool is that one of the coolest experiences in the world we won game one and and then we get lose the next two but the last one got hit off the scoreboard so that's when you remember for the rest of your life but but that experience was the biggest up and down in my life right and and so I would say that that experience alone, um, making a regional and seeing your name on the television was a pretty cool, cool thing. That is pretty cool. All right. And we're wrapping it up by asking every coach in the league this. What's the that comes to your mind when we say heart baseball? The first thing that comes to my mind, heart baseball, um, I would say tough, tough, gritty, difficult. You know, it's a grind. It's, it's hard to get through. That, that's the first thing that comes to my mind, that, that you've got to be prepared. Because if you're not prepared, you're going to get punched in the mouth. And, and and so that that's the one thing that comes to my mind is it's it's tough, hard-nosed, gritty um, Midwest baseball. Coach, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining Absolutely. us. Good luck this season. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's Culver Stockton coach Brad Gorkus.